Hey guys, welcome back to another stream on the channel as Football Hypes here. And in today's stream, we're going to be continuing with our Arsenal career and soccer manager 2021. And this is episode 38. This is a very special episode. And um, the reason for that is because this is the final episode of this career series that I'm doing. And I'm looking forward to it because I really want to make this count. And obviously, I did mention in the previous stream that uh, I won't be continuing until about a month's time. So near to the beginning of July, you'll find that I'll be starting a new career series. So I kind of want to make this one count. And uh, since this is going to be the last episode, I'm just going to finish off the season. Um, as I do at the end of every season, I usually have like a nice long stream. And uh, for that reason, today I'm going to have a nice long stream. And um, we're still in three competitions. We're still in the Premier League, the FA Cup, and the Champions League. So there's a lot still to play for, a lot. And um, hopefully we can end off this career series in style. I mean, we still have a chance of winning three competitions. Um, and uh, preferably the Champions League I'd like to win. But um, I think I would at least like to win a trophy before ending this career series. And uh, we've only got a couple of games left. I mean, if we take a look at the league table, we've got about eight games left in the Premier League. So we have about eight of those. And then we have two games in the Champions League. And if we progress, there will be more. Then obviously, we still have uh, some FA Cup fixtures as well. So there'll be, I'd say, just over about 12 games at least just over 12 games um, on this stream. So there's a lot to look forward to though. And um, there's going to be a lot going on. And uh, since this is going to be the last season um, and the last season of this career series, I won't be making any signings at the end of the season. So you'll find that uh, throughout this career series at the end of every season, I tend to have like a nice long stream to sign new players. But since I'm ending off this career series, there will be no new signings. This will just be like a, uh, a longer stream because there's uh, a lot more games we have to get through than usual. But I uh, hope everybody's having a good Thursday, though. Uh, it's been uh, quite a long day. It's been freezing cold here in South Africa. It's been icy. It's been rainy. And, um, yeah, it's been a miserable day. But um, I hope uh, this stream will be the opposite. I hope we're going to have a good stream today. And uh, hopefully we can end off in style. But, uh, yeah, so lots to look forward to. And, uh, yeah, I hope everybody is doing well. And, um, yeah, this is going to be a very special stream, I hope. But, um, of course, yeah, don't forget to smash a like on the stream, guys. Don't forget to smash a like on the stream. Very important. Please drive the likes up. Um, I'd appreciate if you guys do that for me since this is going to be uh, the last stream I'm going to be doing for quite a while, actually. Um, I'm not going to be streaming for uh, another month. I will be uploading in between, but I'm not going to be streaming for about another month or so so please smash a like and of course subscribe if you are new we reached 2580 subscribers i really appreciate that and i just want to thank every single one of you for reaching that milestone the next milestone guys is 2590 i'm going to keep pushing it because uh like i mentioned i will be mentioning this throughout the stream that i'm going to be doing a 3k subscribers giveaway so um, yeah, I'm not sure what it is yet, but it's going to be something special. So the sooner you guys get me to 3K, the sooner I'll be doing a giveaway. So let's push for 2,590 subscribers. So if you are new, please consider subscribing. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later. That's also free. And um, yeah, if you are already subscribed, please share the content around to friends and family, anyone that would be interested in watching this type of content. And uh, don't forget to turn the bells on, the little bells. Um, so that you never miss one of my streams or my videos and uh, you can also go follow me on my socials The link will be in the description to all my socials uh, Twitter Instagram uh, My twitch I will be streaming on twitch since this is going to be the last stream I forgot to mention I will be streaming on twitch maybe Sunday um, So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. So go follow me on twitch and um, if you want to interact with me on the live stream Go follow me on twitch. It's free. It's free to start an account and it's basically like it's basically like YouTube. It's just you are pretty much just watching me on another platform, if that makes any sense. And, uh, yeah, go join my Discord server. There will be a link in the description to the Hypes community. So feel free to join the Hypes community. Anyone is welcome. And um, I'm not forcing you to join, but anyone is welcome to join. But anyway, so 
obviously we're starting off this stream against Watford and uh, I mean it's like it's an okay game I guess but immediately after that we have Chelsea Borussia Dortmund Everton I'm just glad we're not starting off the stream like against a tougher team you know but we have some tough fixtures man we have Chelsea Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League we have Everton we still have United and Liverpool. So there's still a lot to play for. And uh, if we take a look at the league table, you could argue that we're still in a title race. We're literally four points off first place. And we're seven points uh, ahead of fifth place Tottenham Hotspur. So you could argue that Tottenham are out of the top four bracket at this point in time. But anything could happen. But at this point in time, we are uh, four points behind first place Man City. Imagine we catch up and uh, slot into first place. We're going to have to be consistent for that, though, on this stream. We're going to have to be 100% consistent because, yeah, we don't have uh, – we we can't really take the chance and, and start second-choice players for me on this stream. I just think it's going to be uh, – it's going to be a risk if we do that. So I might have to go full strength for every game. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Eddie Nketi gets the player of the month. Congratulations to him. Uh, manager points. All right, we can't really invest anything there. Media, not interested. Okay, so first game on the stream, Watford. So I guess it's a nice way to start off the stream, you know, build up some confidence for the Chelsea game. I think we beat Chelsea in the first game. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't think we beat them in the first game. I'm not sure. I could be wrong, but um, <laughs> yeah, I could be completely wrong, but um yeah, uh, F7G, welcome. Kwaku, welcome. Angel, welcome. Um, how do we do live stream? I tried to stream on Twitch. I had difficulty, so I'm trying again today. Yeah, I mean, Twitch is um, not the easiest platform to stream on, but you can link StreamYard to uh, Twitch, which is kind of cool. Which what I'm That's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing that, and um, I'll be streaming on Sunday. Um, I'll, I'll probably Sunday. I'll look at doing uh, Sunday. But um, anyway, so uh, since we're starting off the stream against Watford, I'm going to make two changes. So I've brought Hakimi on for Henriks, and I've brought Felix on for Isak, since this is a Premier League game. And I think those are the only changes I'll make. So it's pretty much our full-strength team, our main starting eleven. And um, yeah, obviously in the previous fixture, I forgot to make some changes to the instructions and some of the players in the starting 11, but I won't forget this time. I won't forget this time. So this is pretty much our full strength team. And that's what I'm going to be going with for the rest of the games on the stream, because uh, I, I want to make every single game count, every single three points counts and every single win counts. And, um, Yes, it might be nice to start some of the second choice players, but I can't risk it because we've seen what's happened in the past when we started our second choice players. But um, obviously we're up against Watford now, away from home. First game on the stream. We've gone full strength. Let's see what happens. And uh, I'm looking forward to it because um, it'll be nice to, to get things going on the first game on the stream. And then we can work from there, capitalize off that win and potentially build up some confidence in some form because that's what we need because... We need to be at our best on this stream. And since this is going to be our last stream of this career series, we need to make it count. We need to make it count. Hypes, do you have any chance to win the Premier League? Brendan, we actually do. I'm four points off first place Man City currently as it stands. Um, and since we conceded a goal, I don't think that's likely at the moment. But um, yeah, we, we have a chance of winning. We're about four points off Man City. If I can show you on the right-hand side here, as you can see, uh, this is the top four at the moment. So from fourth place and below, or fifth place and below, you could argue that they're out of the bracket. But if you look at the top four, it's very tight at the moment. So first, second, and third, first, second, third, and fourth place are in a title race. So we are in fourth, and we're only about three points or first place as it stands. So if we win this game, we'll go in uh, 68 points. So... Yeah, hopefully we can win. But at the moment, it's one all. Nketia scores and uh, Gibbs White scores for them. And it's been relatively even at the moment. I mean, uh, Watford, uh, they've had 65% possession. We've had 35. We've had more shots. We've had more attempts. But uh, they've had more attempts on target. 
Um, and they've scored a goal, so have we. And it's been relatively even, I'd say, so far. But I'm going to make two changes. I'm going to bring Brandt on and Isak um, for this game. Um, well, for the second half, should I say. Because I need some firepower from Isak. And I think Nduzi will also um, bring some firepower off the bench. Um, because like, I, we can't afford to be, be losing games against Watford. Because I reckon that if we lose this game or draw it... I think that's the title race gone or the title or should I say the Premier League title gone because these points at the end of the day all count. So we need to try and bag three points in this game. So I've made two changes. Isak for Nketia and Ginduzi for Brandt. So two changes. Hopefully they can make a difference in the second half and uh, bring some firepower off the bench. But um, yeah, who's your favorite player in real life? Mine is N'Golo Kante. My favorite player in real life, probably Lionel Messi. Not because everyone likes him. It's just for a very long time I've, I've liked him. I mean, I remember getting a, a shirt in 2015 with um, his name at the back. Um, it was number 10. And I remember getting that. And I was like, that's, I think, when I started liking him. Um, well, not liking him. I, I've known of him for many years. But, like, I started like really liking him he became my favorite player after that and i still have that barcelona shirt i might wear it one day but um that was the year they won like the treble or something and um yeah i remember getting a shirt but i mean we lost to watford 3-1 i mean that's just pathetic come on i mean you have these games you know you have these games but that could be the title race gone that could be the title race gone and we have chelsea next you know, um, I don't know what went wrong in this game, but Watford had 68% possession. So they dominated possession throughout the whole game. And they also had more shots on target overall. So I don't know what went wrong. I really don't know what went wrong. But uh, I think that's a little disappointing. That is a little disappointing. But, uh, yeah, I reckon, um, I mean, Man United lost their game. So did we. I mean, we lost to... You saw Watford's form. They, they hadn't won a game for six games. And you'll find that those kind of teams are the teams that will beat you, which is just... I don't understand it. But, uh, yeah, as, as it stands, Man City are four points ahead of us. They might make it seven if they win. And Liverpool might make it six. So, yeah, not looking good at the moment. Not looking good. But, um, yeah, so Liverpool beat West Ham. So Liverpool are six points ahead of us. And Man City beat Fulham. So now they're seven points ahead of us. There are still seven games left, but we have Chelsea now. And uh, listen, we could fall out the bus very quickly. We could just go on like a losing streak. And then I just hope that doesn't happen because this will it'll just really put down my mood because I was looking forward to this stream. And I don't know if, if if we don't win anything i'll be a little disappointed because it's been what two or three seasons now since we've won a trophy so yeah i mean we have a pretty decent team and i don't know what went wrong against watford i really don't but uh yeah watford is a team i have on sm20 my highest rate play is harland i've done six seasons two premier leagues one champions league one fa cup two carabao cups two community shields i mean that's a trophy cabinet and a half right there I mean, um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But I think SM20 is far easier than SM21, in my opinion. I just think that you just sign the best players or best regions, and then after like five seasons, you have the best team in the game. I just, you know, which is kind of nice. But in this game, I think it's tougher. But yet again, the coding is pathetic. But I won't go into that again. Okay, so we have Chelsea next. So it's a London derby, and this is this is where it starts, right? This is where it starts. If you take a look at our schedule, we have Chelsea, then we have Borussia Dortmund, then we have Everton, and then we have Leeds, and then Borussia Dortmund again. So, you know, this is not going to be easy. So I see it as if things don't go well against Borussia Dortmund in the first leg, I might have to go full strength in the second leg. Or I might have to like start my second team against Everton and Leeds and then go full strength with uh, my first team against Borussia Dortmund in the second leg. But uh, yeah, anyway, so we have Chelsea now. And you know what? I'm going to start 
But oh, Isak's injured again. I mean, why? There's always these games. It's always the crucial games where we just like... Okay, he's going to be out for the Chelsea game. But it's always these crucial games where we, where we pick up injuries. But I'm just going to go full strength again. We have Chelsea. And uh, obviously, Chelsea have Uar, one of our ex-players. Um, we signed him last season. And um, he's, he's starting for them again. But Chelsea have a very, very good team. I think we beat them in the first game uh, in the Premier League. So hopefully we can do that again, um, get the double over them, like we did in the Premier League in real life. But uh, Chelsea have a very tough team. I mean, they have Van Dijk, Allison, They have uh, Declan Rice, Uar, Coman. Uh, you know, they have some good players in their team. But, yeah, I think we're capable of beating them. I mean, we beat them in the, in the first fixture. But uh, let's see what happens in this game. Pretty much the same team. You could argue that I should have maybe made some changes because we lost 3-1, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I prefer SM21 more than 20. I, I, listen, I prefer. I, I disagree with that. I, I prefer SM20. I just think it was uh, far better. It was far simpler than this game. I mean, they try to make the game more realistic, and they just made it worse in terms of the coding. But... All right, Nketiah has scored at the moment, so it looks like we have been dominating, and uh, which is a good thing. But then Chelsea equalized, you know? I mean, take a look at this. They haven't been in the game at all. And then near to the end of the first half, they score. I mean, we had, you saw, we were just hitting them. Attempt after attempt after attempt, you know? Shot after shot after shot. 16 shots, they had six. Just, just near to the end of the first half. They got in six shots and then two on target and they score a goal. I mean, it just, just doesn't make sense to me. But, yeah, I don't know how we let that goal in. Um, but, you know, I'm going to have to make a change, though. I want to bring Muller on for Saka. But yet again, Muller's chemistry isn't that great. So for that reason, I'll bring Ganduzi on for Brandt, even though Brandt's playing very well. Um, I'll just give Ganduzi some game time and we'll just change the instructions about here real quick. I think that's the only change I'll make. So we're not losing, which is one thing, but we've conceded a goal, you know, and Chelsea haven't been great. I can tell by the stats. They haven't been great. We've been all over them. But I just have that feeling that we're going to lose this game for some stupid reason. But let's stay positive. We can win this game. Um, for that reason, I brought Ganduzi on. And uh, let's see if he can make a difference in the second half. It is a London derby. Chelsea are one of our rivals. And I know there are Chelsea fans that watch my content. So, yeah, which is even worse because, you know, when uh, rival teams beat me, like Manchester United, Chelsea, Liverpool, uh, the fans tend to banter me in the live chat. But um, I guess it's all it's all about the football vibe, you know. Um, I'm doing an Oscar County career mode and it was way too easy. I didn't even sign regions. Yeah, I mean, are you talking about SM21 or SM20? Because I'm not sure. But uh, second half to come. Uh, Brought Ganduzi on. Hopefully he can make a difference in the second half. We need to win this game. Because I think if, if we lose this game now or draw, the title race is gone. The title race is gone. I think securing top four will be, that will be that. But uh, if we win this game, I think we might still have a chance of, of finishing and uh, with, the, with the Premier League trophy in our hands. But uh, second half to come. Let's see what happens. That's going to be a tough second half, but uh, we need to try and score a goal against Chelsea. But um, as it stands, it's one all, and it stays one all. I mean, I reckon we should have we, we should have scored a second goal there. I don't know how we didn't score. We had twenty seven shots. I mean, we were all over them. We had sixty two percent possession. We had seven shots on target. They had three shots on target. I mean, come on. I think we should have done better. I think we deserve to win that game my opinion, you know, according to the stats, you can clearly tell, but uh, well, we haven't started off this stream too well. We haven't started off this stream too well, which isn't good. Liverpool win again and they beat Watford. Uh, Man City lose to Tottenham. So, and Man United beat West Ham. But yeah, as it stands, uh, I think Liverpool are first at the moment and they'll be eight points ahead of us. Yeah, they're eight points ahead of us. I don't see Liverpool dropping points yet. We still we still have to play them in the Premier League, but I can't really I can't really see them dropping points. I just um, yeah, 
So I think I think the title race might be gone now. Um, after that that loss to Watford, if we I don't think if we hadn't lost to Watford, I, I think we might have still been in it somehow. But that loss to Watford definitely has uh, has caused some trouble for us. You know, one hundred percent. But yeah, bad luck versus London teams. No, actually, no, that's actually a lie. We've been excellent versus London, against London teams. Against our London rivals, I think we've had the best record all season. Drew to Chelsea, beat West Ham. So I'll I'll mention all the games. I'll mention all the London teams that we've played. So we, we drew to Chelsea, beat West Ham, lost to Tottenham, beat Fulham, right? So that's one loss so far. Uh, we beat... Um, let's see who else is here. We Okay, we lost to Chelsea. So it's two losses. Beat West Ham, beat Tottenham, beat Fulham. Right? Who else is here? Is there anyone else? So we've only got what? Was it three losses or two losses? I think that was, yeah, two losses, a draw, and four wins. So actually, no, I haven't had bad luck. It's just, um, it's been every, it's, it's been very inconsistent, I would say, but we haven't had bad luck. We've had, uh, our wins here and there. But um, anyway, so we have Borussia Dortmund now. So this, I would say, could potentially be the highlight of the stream. It's the Champions League. So we made it through to the round of 16. We came in uh, second behind Juventus. And um, we're now up against Borussia Dortmund. They're a decent team. I took a look at their team not too long ago. And uh, I would say they're not one of the best teams that are left in the round of 16. But they do have a good team. But... Uh, yeah, I'm sure we're more than capable of beating them, but, um, you know. Anyway, so I'm going to have to make some uh, some changes here now for this game because uh, this is a very important game, and I think making some changes will be crucial. It will be very crucial. Um, okay, so let's see. I'll have Ramagnoli start this game with Marquinhos. Um, so that will be our back four. So there's some changes we've made here. Um, for Shahran will start. Brandt, I'll keep on. I'll keep Brandt on. Felix is going to start the game. Isak will start. So Nketi will be on the bench. Saka will start. And uh, I'll actually have Arthur on the bench for, uh, let's see, for Tierney. So I've made I've made some changes to the starting 11. I've, I've rotated it quite a bit. But like I mentioned, if we don't somehow win this game, I will go full strength in the second leg. So that means I'll just completely forget the league and I'll just focus on the Champions League. So, yeah. So I've made some rotations now, but um, it could be, it is risky 100%. I, I completely admit to that, but we still have a chance of winning. And um, if we win, I'll probably still go full strength in the second leg just to secure the win, but uh, we have Borussia Dortmund in the round of 16 of the Champions League, and uh, this is where it all starts off. And let's take a look at this Borussia Dortmund team. I mean, they have Milik, that's uh, Thorgan Hazard, not Eden Hazard, um, Zielinski, Jude Bellingham, uh, Angelino. I mean, they have a pretty decent team. They just don't have a great goalkeeper. But uh, yeah, I mean, according to individual players, we have a better team. We have, oh, I wouldn't say we have a better team. Don't quote me on that. We have better individual players, but we might not have a better team, and we're about to see what happens in this game. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I asked my American friend, name every single Premier League team, and I only named two. <laughs> um, okay, but we have Borussia Dortmund to come. Big game, massive game. This is probably the highlight on this stream. Don't forget to smash a like on the stream, guys. Drive the likes up. Please do that for me. I'd really appreciate it because the majority of the people that come on here don't even smash a like. I mean, it takes a second of your day. It doesn't cost anything. So please smash a like on the stream. And um, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, yeah, that's also free. And I'm trying to push for 2,590 subscribers. We reached the, 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 the milestone of 2,580 subs in the previous stream. So let's push for 2,590 subscribers. I know we can do it. So let's push for it. So please share the content around to friends and family. If you already subscribe, 
well, anyone that's interested in this type of content and uh, that'd be really appreciated and turn the bell notification on to never miss one of my videos or my streams because I stream daily. Well, I won't be streaming daily um, because this is the last stream of this career series. So yeah, but I will be uploading more often though. 100% without a doubt. And uh, yeah, go follow me on my socials. Link will be in the description to that. Go follow me on Twitch. I will be streaming on Twitch for about a month's time. So if you want to watch me live stream, if you want to interact with me, go follow me on Twitch. That is free. You can start an account, which is free as well, and it's free to follow me. So go ahead and do that. Um, but anyway, back to the game. So we're 1-0 down to Borussia Dortmund. They got the away goal, and they have been dominating, as you can probably tell. Um, they've had the majority of shots, majority of shots on target, and they've been dominating possession. But I think I'm going to have to make some changes here. Um, so I'm going to bring on, hmm, I'll, I'll bring on Arthur and Genduzi, and then I'll bring on Essentio in the second half. So those are a few changes that I'll make because, uh, yeah, we need some firepower off the bench 100% because the moment is not looking good. It is not looking good. We're 1-0 down to Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League round of 16. And it is the first leg, but, you know, that away goal could potentially define if we make it through or not, you know. I think it'll be a quite it'll be a, a, a quite a depressing stream if we manage to go out in, in the first round of the Champions League, you know. Um, but hopefully we can... Uh, Hopefully we can make this season count because this is the last stream and I want to make something happen 100%. But uh, yeah. Anyway, second half to come, we've made all three changes. I've brought Asensio on, Genduzi and Arthur. So um, three key players and hopefully they can make a difference in the second half because uh, yeah, we need some firepower off the bench and it's very important that we can that we try and get a win this, this game. But they get a second goal. Ah. <sighs> not looking good can we maybe get a goal before the game ends we're literally gonna have to score three goals now well yeah no actually we're gonna have to score two to um balance the aggregate score i mean what is going on this stream i mean why did it have to happen this stream i know there was a, a stream that was bound to happen where we were going we, we just go on a, a bad run of form which you know happens but why this stream why Why the last stream of my career series? Why does it have to happen now? You know, and, and we're letting a 31-year-old milk score against us, you know? It's like, for me, it's just, it's 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 depressing, you know? I mean, we, it wasn't like we weren't in it. I mean, we had 39% possession, they had 61. We had 20 shots, they had 22. We had seven on target, they had seven on target. Where were we? Where were we? You know, it's, it's like back to when we, we get chances, but we're not scoring them. It's just, it irritates me. Like, I don't know what it is. They're, they have, what, a 62-rated goalkeeper? I mean, come on, man. Come on. We need to be doing better than that. We, we genuinely need to be doing better than that. That's not good enough. It really isn't good enough. But uh, we have Everton next in the... FA Cup. I'm literally going to go full strength for this game, and then I'll rest the players for um, for the Leeds game. But uh, yeah, I mean, we've lost two, drawn one game on the stream. We we haven't uh, we haven't been at we we haven't been at our best at all. So yeah, it's been pretty disappointing. But uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. We can't really do anything about it. I mean, we can. But, yeah, I mean, take a look at this. Watford, we lost to Watford 3-1, drew to Chelsea, lost to Borussia Dortmund. We have Everton in the FA Cup. A domestic competition that we're still in, we haven't, won, we, we haven't won the FA Cup on this career series yet. We haven't won the FA Cup. So, I mean, <laughs> Chelsea, West Ham, and Leicester are still in it. If we can win this game we will probably be one of the favorites to go through. We will probably be one of the favorites to go through, but I'm going full strength for this game. I'm not taking any more risks. I'll bench uh, some of the players for the Chelsea game and uh, prepare my strongest team 
against the likes of uh, of Borussia Dortmund in the second leg. Okay, so let's see. Tierney, yes, here he is. So I'm pretty much going full strength. I know it's an FA Cup game, but I ain't taking no risks. I ain't taking no risks. Uh, Arthur, he's tired, so I'm, I can't really start him for this game. Um, but yeah. Corner taker, um, Asensio. Asensio can also take the corners, why not? And then Isak can take the penalties. Captain Leno. There we go. Okay, so we've made all the changes necessary, I think. Since it is a, an FA Cup game, it's a domestic competition. Leno's in goal. Um, and, uh, I mean, listen, we beat Everton in the previous game that we played against them, 4-3. I think we played them in the previous stream, but uh, obviously we got them in the FA Cup now, a different competition. It's the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. So, I mean, this is a competition that we could still potentially win. 100%. This is a competition that we can still win. And it will be nice if, we, if we're able to win it. Because I think at this point in time, this is probably the easiest competition that we could potentially win. You know? Champions League is going to be difficult. I think we're out of the the, the title race. And uh, this is the, the competition that we're most likely to win if we win a trophy at all this season. So, yeah, Everton, Everton to come. Quarterfinal of the FA Cup at Goodenson Park. Let's see what happens in this game. We obviously, we haven't had a great start to the stream at all. We haven't even won a game yet and it's been three games already. But... Hopefully we can see a difference uh, against Everton because, um, yeah, I mean, okay, it's one all at the moment. And, um, I mean, like, I, I genuinely don't have any – I mean, Hakimi's picked up a red card as well. I've, I've also noticed that it's, like, so irritating. We, we, we get so far into a competition and then we just pick up a red card in a crucial game. Like – it irritates me. Um, okay, I'm going to have to go three at the back for this now. I mean, it's genuinely so irritating. Okay, I'm going to have to put Tierney at left back. Kimi's picked up a red card, and he's like our second best defender, and he gets a bloody red card. What's wrong with him? Okay, so Arthur is going to come off the bench. We're going to we're gonna bring him on for this game, and then I'll bring Felix on. And then for Shahran. So I'm making all three changes. And then um, instructions. Let's see. Corner to, uh, no, penalty taker and Ketia. So we have a red card at the moment. We've picked up a red card. It's the uh, FA Cup quarterfinal. And it's one all at the moment. But um, I'm going to have to make the necessary changes for uh, the second half because uh, we can't go full attacking. I'm going to make the mentality normal. And, um, yeah, I uh, I don't know what to expect now in the second half. But uh, we've made all three changes. Felix for Isak, Arthur for Genduzi, and um, for Shachran for Asensio. So, yeah, it's one all at the moment. And uh, match stats, I mean, Everton have been dominating possession. Uh, they've been dominating shots. Shots on target. We've had our attempts on target and we've scored a goal. But uh, yeah, at the moment, Chelsea are beating Nottingham Forest. Stoke are beating West Ham and it's one all with Leicester and Birmingham. So second half to come against Everton. We are a player down. It's 10 men versus 11. Hopefully, you know, what I, you know actually, I'm going to go defensive. Defensive, yeah. It's 10 men versus 11 men. I don't know what to expect in the second half, but, uh, whoa. Okay, yeah, Hakimi, we, we know that. All right, we have scored. We have scored. We have scored. <sighs> you know, I... This is probably the worst stream on this career series I've had. You know, there has been bad ones, but this is by far the worst. Out of the FA Cup, 2-0 down in the Champions League round of 16. I 
I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say anymore. I swear half the time this game just screws you over, you know, because I feel like it. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So we're out of the FA Cup. We're out of the FA Cup. And we could have drawn to West Ham. But uh, obviously, we've made it through to the quarterfinal again and then got knocked out. So that's a competition that we're most likely uh, not going to win on this career series, is the FA Cup. I don't know where I'm going to get confidence from or positivity on this stream because... I mean, it's been four games now, guys, on the stream. For those of you that have joined late, it's been four games on this stream and we haven't won jack shit. Lost to Watford, drew to Chelsea, lost to Borussia Dortmund 2-0, and now we've lost to Everton um, on penalties in, in the FA Cup quarterfinal. Uh, it's just... I, if, if we get knocked out of the Champions League... I'm just going to, I'll just finish off the season and, you know, yeah, I don't know. But uh, anyway, so obviously I'm going to start my second team for this game. I'm literally going to go all out second team. I, I really couldn't care if we lose this game or not, you know, because obviously it's like we're, we're out of the title race now. And yeah, I mean, there's nothing to lose really in the Premier League, so... Yeah, we need to go full strength in the Champions League. Ginduzi and Torreira, yes. And then Muller, Impus, Isak. Azevedo? No. Where's Impus? Is he starting? Yes, he is. Azevedo can start this game as well. Yeah, I don't know anymore. Natali Masengu. Appreciate you coming on the stream, man. It's nice to see some new people on the stream, bro. I, listen, I, I apologize, guys. I'm a bit depressed. Well, not depressed, but like I'm a bit down because the stream has been very sour. It's been so bad. And Angel, listen, I appreciate you uh, wanting to give me tactics, man. But it's like I really don't even feel like changing the tactics right now. I get it will help, but I don't feel like setting up brand new tactics. I'm just going to stick to what we've got. And I know, I know with these tactics, we're capable of winning things. We have, you know, like, I don't know, but I, I, I apologize, guys. Genuinely, I apologize. But uh, if we win this game, I'll, I'll get a bit of confidence back. But, um, you know, it's just been a, it's been a very bad stream, I would say. And considering this is our last game on the street, well, not last game, but considering this is our last season, and this is going to be the last stream for this career series in a whole, the way it's been going has just been, it's been like I want to throw up kind of thing. It's just been awful. But we have Leeds United next, and I've kind of started my second team. It's like it's, it's a full-blown second-choice team. It's like none of our main starting 11 players are starting this game. As you can see, there's like no key players in this team. There are a few on the bench, but um, I'm keeping them for the Borussia Dortmund game. So I'm not risking that. The reason why I'm going second choice is because we have nothing to play for in the Premier League except top four, and I couldn't really care about that. So I'm going full strength for uh, the Champions League. We got knocked out of the FA Cup. Very disappointing, I know. But uh, all that we really have left is pr probably the Champions League. And uh, if we get knocked out of that, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, don't forget to smash a like on the stream, guys. Please drive the likes up. I'd really appreciate that. You know, that's one thing that'll make me smile. Please drive the likes up. And um, yeah, subscribe if you are new. I'm pushing for 2,590 subscribers. So if you're already subscribed, um, please share the content around to friends and family, anyone that might be interested in watching this type of content. Very easy. Um, I'd appreciate it if you guys did that for me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. It is free. And uh, don't forget to turn that notification bell on to never miss one of my streams or my videos because I stream it daily. Well, this is going to be the last stream of this career series, and I'll be back with another uh, streaming series in about a month from now. So, yeah. 
Anyway, and also don't forget to follow me on my socials, Instagram, Twitter, links in the description to that. Go follow me on Twitch. I will be streaming on Twitch for the next month or so. So yeah, go catch me on Twitch. It's free to follow, follow me on there as well. And also feel free to join my Discord server because um, yeah, I've started this Discord server and uh, it's the Hypes community, of course. And um, as you guys know, I appreciate it if you guys would join. But uh, we are 2 0 up against Leeds. And um, uh, well, actually, hold on. And I'm relatively happy with that. You know, it's 2 uh, 0. I mean, I, I'm not overly excited because, I mean, if you take a look at the league table, we're six points behind Man City and Liverpool still have a game in hand. So I guess these kind of, I guess these games kind of count, you could say, but like, they don't really mean anything. If this was like us one point or first place, I'd be like, hell yeah, let's go full strength. But I mean, we have nothing to fight for in the Premier League, but we are 2-0 up. Mad stats, we've been dominating. We've had 56% possession. They've had 44. We've had 10 shots, four on target. They've had three shots, one on targets, and we've been pretty good. And we are 2-0 up at the moment. And I'm not going to make any changes. Um, I'm literally going to go full strength for the Borussia Dortmund game. So I'm not going to take any risks there, but uh, I reckon we're going to win this game. And uh, we managed to keep a clean sheet as well. So I'm happy with that. And hopefully that's a confidence booster. It's the first win on the stream. I'm not even kidding. It is the first win on the stream, lads. Which is a joke. It is an absolute joke. But, you know, it uh, was bound to, to come from somewhere. And uh, obviously it came from the Leeds game. And it is what it is. So... Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, we dominated uh, possession throughout the whole game. We had 67% possession. They had 33. We had 15 shots. They had six. We had six on target. They had two. So they had chances, but um, we managed to keep them out, and we ended up winning 2-0. So hopefully that's a confidence boost, and we can capitalize of this for the Borussia Dortmund game because, um, man, I'm not looking forward to that. We're 2-0 down against Borussia Dortmund, and, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know, but we're up against them next. Second leg in the round of 16 of the Champions League. And, uh, you know, at this point in time, we have to pretty much go full strength and we need to be at our best for this game. Genuinely, we need to be at our best because, yeah, I don't want to take any risks. So I'm going full strength for this game. That's why I started my second choice players for the, the Leeds game. So I could spare my first choice players for this game. I mean, look here. I'm literally, yeah. I'm even going to start Leno for this game. I've just decided, you know what? I'm starting Leno for this game. Um, Isak will start. Felix is going to start. Konate is going to start. I mean, I'm literally going full strength here. 100%. No risks. Nothing. No risks at all. Um, Ginduzi will be on the bench. Um, yeah, listen, we, we are going full strength. Everyone's got 100% stamina and, uh, yeah, this is a game that we need to win. If we're going to want to progress and win the champions league, we're going to have to bag three goals in this game. Nothing less, you know, I'm not saying we're going to, but if we're going to want to, to progress to the quarterfinal, we're going to have to perform. We're going to have to put a shift in. But anyway, Borussia Dortmund to come. The second leg of the round of 16. We're 2-0 down to Borussia Dortmund. They do have two goals, uh, two away goals, actually. And, um, you know, I'm tempted to use my, tempted to use boosts on, on some of these players. For that reason, I will. It is a risk, but uh, we don't really have anything to play for anymore. So I might as well. I might as well. Why not? Why the heck not? But anyway, Borussia Dortmund to come. And uh, yeah, we need to be at our best now. And they're 2-0 uh, they're up already with two away goals. And uh, yeah, we need to score three away goals. So let's see what happens. Second leg to come. Lots to play for. We need to, we need to perform. We genuinely need to perform. And uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can score a couple of goals. And we can't afford to concede any more goals to Borussia Dortmund. We can't. So, yeah, if, we, if we're out of the Champions League, I don't know what to play for, though. I mean, there's five games left 
in the in the Premier League, but this is the game that counts the most, and uh, this is the competition that I'm mainly focused on at the moment, 100%. I learned your tactics offer smaller teams to win easy, but you have a good player, so you perform better. I mean, it doesn't really make sense, but I get where you're coming from. You know, I get where you're coming from. These tactics are for smaller teams, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, but anyway, it's taking long to load. I don't know what this is all about, but um, yeah, it's taking long to load. But um, if you lose this, then there's something wrong. Yeah, um, I mean, I mean, there we've just conceded a goal again. I mean, what? I, I, I can't see us winning this game now. Like, I can't see us scoring three goals in the second half. I, I can't see it. I mean, they have a 60... What, what was it? They have a 62-rated goalkeeper. My God. How? I don't understand how we cannot score against them. They have a 77-rated uh, centre-back and a 78-rated right-back. It doesn't make sense to me. It genuinely does not make sense to me. Like, I don't understand. You know? Like, you know what? I'm, this is going to be something stupid that I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to try and make some creative things happen in the second half. I'm going to bring Nketi on. And that's the only change I'll make, Nketia. Um, Yeah, that's the only change I'll make, genuinely. Um, big comeback. Remember Liverpool versus Barcelona. Yeah, I mean, that, that could be a motivation, but like, <sighs> we're 3-0 down in aggregate. If we score three goals now and we don't concede any more, that means we go through. But uh, we're 3-0 down at the moment to Borussia Dortmund and... Um, we need a miracle. We need a miracle, lads. We need a miracle to win this game. This means everything to me. Because, uh, yeah, if we lose this game, we're out of all competitions except the Premier League, and there's nothing really to play for in the Premier League. So this is what counts at the moment. So I've made a few changes to the player roles. Um, I've, made, I've brought Nketi on. So... We need to perform at our best now, 100%. We need to be at our best in the second half. So let's see what happens. Second half to come. And uh, we need to score some goals. We we genuinely need to score some goals. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we're not making anything happen. Niketia scored two. <sighs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? You wouldn't believe it. Yeah. Anyway, we're out of the the Champions League, lads. We're we're out. I mean, we are uh, we're out one hundred percent. We we lost three two on aggregate to Borussia Dortmund. Don't know how, but uh, we did. Um, yeah, we just needed a goal. We just needed a third goal, and we would have been through. Fifty-two percent possession. I mean, we came back in the second half, so um, you could commend the pride that we showed in the second half, but wasn't good enough. Wasn't good enough. It's just disappointing, you know. We've had five seasons to to improve the team, try win a continental competition, and we failed. That was my goal for this career series, was to win a continental competition. And we failed to do so miserably, you know. And the thing is, if we had struggled to beat Borussia Dortmund, what would the likes of Bayern Munich or the likes of PSG done to us, you know? Like, even if we'd beaten them, what, what would have happened afterwards? But yeah, so we have about five Premier League games left. And I mean, it's just, 
there's nothing to play for anymore, really. I mean, we're out of the FA Cup. We lost to Everton on penalties. And, you know, we're, we're out of the Champions League now. We're out of the Champions League now. Yeah, the, camp, the comeback was right there. You know, it, um, it was. But uh, we weren't good enough to score the third goal, I guess. But, uh, yeah. So... Some people would say, yeah, if I was in your shoes, I would have gotten through easy, easily, but you're not. So I guess uh, we didn't. So, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Can't really do anything about it now. Can't really do anything about it now, unfortunately. But uh, So we have about five games left in the Premier League. I'm taking a look at the league table. We're about five points off uh, first place. So, I mean... We still have a chance of potentially fighting for the title. We still have to play Manchester United and Liverpool. So, yeah, um, if they manage to slip up two of, the, if they manage to slip up one of their games and we can win our last five, and we beat them both, and if Man City slip up in two of their games, I think we might have a chance of potentially winning the Premier League title. But the odds of that are very slim. Are very slim at this point. Yeah. Hey, uh, why are you in so much debt? Um, hey, Alex, welcome to the stream, man. I appreciate you coming on. Why am I in so much debt? Well, funny story. I had about 170 million um, at the beginning of this uh, season, should I say, or the end of last season, and I signed three players, Marquinhos, Arthur, and Konate, and I signed them for combined fee of about 160 million. And obviously, the contracts that I have for the players are very high, and for that reason, um, I have uh, I've debt. So, yeah, it, it doesn't really bother me too much because obviously this is the last season. So, like, if I was doing another season, I would have had to sort it out. But since this is the last season I'm doing, it doesn't really bother me too much. But I appreciate you coming on the stream, of course, and I hope you stick around, man. I hope you are enjoying the stream or enjoy the streams, should I say, because. Um, yeah, I try and provide the best quality content possible um, well, of my capability, you know. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, so we're up against Wolves next. And, uh, you know, Wolves for me, it's always uh, an interesting one for me because Wolves have, like, half our players. They have Rashika, they have Bellerin, they have Aki. I mean, there's one or two players that aren't starting for them that aren't here. But they, they have a lot of our uh, ex-players. So <laughs> they have Martinez as well an ex-Arsenal player, so Rashika always scores against us as well, Rashika always shows up, like, he just knows the ins and outs, like, he was there, he was like a spy for a season, and he leaves, and then he just, um, he went to Wolves, and he scores, he scores against us all the time, and um, it's going to be a tough game, because Wolves have pretty decent players, but uh, we tend to have a pretty good record against them, 100%, but uh, yeah, um, I guess these last five games now are more or less just for pride, I would say, um, any of the season and style. Well, we haven't really because we're pretty much out of all competitions, but, you know, it is what it is. But uh, anyway, we have Wolves up next, and uh, they, we are playing them in the Premier League. Sadly, not in any other competition, but, uh, yeah. Um, you No, you have to loan put players to get the budget down. I mean, we, we've just conceded two goals to Wolves, and we've had it's just this is this just really irritates me. I mean, we've had sixty-three percent possession; they've had thirty-seven. We've had twenty shots, seven on target. Twenty shots, seven on target. What is happening? Where are these seven shots on target going? You know, six shots blocked. What are the guys doing? You know, like, I don't understand. I genuinely do not understand. Everyone's playing well somehow, but we're 2-1 down. I, it's just, it baffles me sometimes, I swear. Um, all right, so I'm going to bring Isak on for Nketia. And who else can we bring on? Instructions, you know, what? I'm going to make a change to the instructions. Forwards mixed. Um, and then I'm going to do this again. 
I'll genuinely get irritated if we lose this game. All right, so I've made some changes. I've brought Isak on for Nketiah for some firepower off the bench, and I've made some changes to the instructions again. We're 2-1 down to Wolves, and uh, Buendia and Catroni scored for them. But, um, yeah, hopefully we can hit them in the second half. But, uh, yeah, we still have something to play for technically, but, yeah, um, losing this game is just going to be... I don't know what, but second half to come. Let's see what happens. Brandt gets an equalizer. Isak scores a third. Um, will we hold out? Felix gets a fourth. And um, I guess we got that game in the bag. Good comeback. Good comeback. Um, I'm proud of the team for for having a good comeback. I like to see that. Why? I, I, I just wish we'd scored one more goal against Borussia Dortmund. I just... Oh, we just needed one more goal, lads. We would have been through to the round of, uh, not the round of, the quarterfinal of the Champions League if we'd scored just one more goal. You know, and uh, this is the kind of performance that we needed. Obviously, you can't compare Wolves to Borussia Dortmund at all, but yeah, come on. But uh, we ended up winning this game 4-2. Uh, Felix scored two, Brand scored one, Isak scored one. So Isak scored one from off the bench. Um, we were two, we were 2-1 down in the first half, kept them out in the second half, and I think we were pretty brilliant in the second half. We had 65% possession, dominated throughout the second half. 34 shots, they had 10, we had 13 on target, they had 3. And I think, as you can tell by the stats, we 100% deserve to win. Yeah, Alex, I have won the, the Premier League um, a couple of seasons ago. I think it was in my third season of this career series, um, I won the Champions League. And uh, yeah, uh, not the Champions League, sorry, excuse me, the Premier League. And um, I was really proud of that. I mean, I think that was the best season I'd had pretty much on this career series. And um, since then, we haven't we, we haven't won anything major. But uh, so, I mean, after we won the Premier League, I was aiming to win a continental competition, you know. But uh, sadly, you know, that hasn't happened. Here, here you go. Whoops. Let me show you league. And you'll see here by history. Um, whoops. Awards and history. Here you go. 2022, we won the Premier League. <sighs> but anyway, we have four games left. And as it stands, Liverpool and Man United are still five points ahead of us. Man City are four points ahead of us. And Tottenham are two points behind us. So if we lose a game, Tottenham will go ahead of us. Yeah, pretty much. That's the situation. You know, if we'd, if we'd, beaten, if we'd beaten Watford, we'd be, two, we'd be two points behind Man United and one point behind City. You know, things like that, just when I look at it from that perspective, I'm like, mm, it just gets on my nerves because, like, you think about it, and you're like, only if, only if we won that game or only if we'd gotten three points or a point, whatever it is. I always look at it that way. It, it was that one game. You know, and Watford, we were more than capable of beating them. I mean, take a look at this. Watford have 21 points and three of those 21 points are, are against us. They've, they've achieved three of those points from us. They would have 18 points now and we would have 75. That's the difference, you know, but yeah, put on honor back on. You can see too much. Yeah. I might, I might just do that. I might just do that. We'll do that against Sheffield United. I might just do that. But anyway, uh, it's West Ham and Chelsea in the FA Cup final. I think Chelsea won the FA Cup last season, beating Tottenham 1-0 or something. So, yeah, I mean, look, Borussia Dortmund beat Barcelona away from home. I mean, we should have been there. We should have been playing Barcelona now in the, in the round of, in the round of uh, 60 or quarterfinal, sorry. But it's Borussia Dortmund, obviously, you know. They were clearly better than us. And they were actually, I'm not being sarcastic. They were clearly better than us with a 62 rated goalkeeper. Don't forget that. They had a 62 rated goalkeeper and uh, we still, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so we have Sheffield United next. This is going to be, there's about four games left in the Premier League. So hopefully we can make, uh, hopefully we can make do and win 
all four. But uh, two of those four games are against Manchester United and Liverpool. And I know there's many United and Liverpool fans that watch my channel. So um, the, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in those games. But now we have uh, Sheffield United in the Premier League. And um, I think we're more than capable of beating Sheffield United. But yet again, we did lose to Watford. So I don't want to be too overconfident. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to make Marquinhos the captain. And uh, yeah, so I'm, pr I'm pretty much going full strength again. I, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't. There's the, it's the last four games of the season last four games of this career series so i might as well just make it count and go full strength for the last few games but uh yeah anyway so we have sheffield united next don't forget to smash a like on the stream guys don't forget to smash a like on the stream if you have been enjoying so far i'd really appreciate that and um yeah subscribe if you are new i'm pushing for 2590 subscribers so if you are already subscribed please just share the content around your friends and family um, anyone that might be interested in watching this type of content and um, yeah don't forget to turn that notification bell on to never miss one of my streams or my videos and go follow me on my socials link will be in the description to my twitter my instagram um, my discord server feel free to join that and go follow me on twitch i only have 11 followers on twitch let's push that come on i mean it's free to, to sign up it's free to follow me and it's, i'll pretty much just be streaming on a different platform i will be streaming on twitch for the whole whole of june and um probably my first stream will be on sunday so yeah definitely go check that out guys 100 percent. but anyway sheffield united next and uh i guess you know this game is uh obviously i want to get three points but i guess it's pride at the end of the day these last few games is just like 100 percent pride um but uh yeah I mean, we still need to win anyway, because I think losing this game would be slightly embarrassing. But uh, we won all up at the moment, and um, Brand scored. I mean, as you can tell, we've been dominating possession. It's pretty much been Arsenal the first half. Uh, they've had a few chances, not much, but uh, we've kept them out, which is the most important thing. And uh, I'm going to make a change. I'll bring Almada on for Saka. I'll make that change and uh, I'll go with um, Isak, Fawn, and Ketia. So two changes. There we go. And uh, so that's the only two changes I'll make for this Sheffield United game. We are 1-0 up at the moment and uh, brought two players on, give Almada some more game time. You know, he hasn't played for quite a while. And I brought Isak on as well. He did score off the bench against Wolves. So let's see what happens in this game and hopefully he can score again. But second half to come. 35th Premier League game of the season. We have three more after this, and um, let's hope we can maybe get four and four. But uh, yeah, as it stands, we are. Oh, he gets another red card. He gets in. If I was doing another season, I, I would have released Hakimi. I wouldn't have even added him to the transfer list. I would have released him. I would have got rid of his ass. It's the second red card he's gotten in a stream. You know what? He doesn't deserve to, to, to play the rest of the games anymore. He doesn't deserve to be part of the starting lineup for the last few games. I actually don't care if we lose to Chelsea, or not Chelsea, to Liverpool, Man United. I genuinely don't care anymore. He does not deserve to start. I don't care if he's rated 91 or whatever. No. I, I genuinely couldn't give a bumblebee's ass. I'm, I'm legit going to move him to the, to the reserve team now. I know this is like, it's pointless, but still. <clears throat> yeah, so there it goes. All our hopes are gone, pretty much. All our hopes are gone. Thanks to Akimi. You know what? If I, had, if I had some money now, or if I had some transfer budget, I would have released him now. Literally, I don't care if he's the best right back in the game. You just saw what he did. He picked up a red card in a game that we needed to win. He picked up a red card against, uh, who was it? Was it Everton? I think it was Everton. Yeah, in, 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 the, in the FA Cup. He picks up another red card. Nah, getting rid of him. Getting rid of him. I don't know why this is taking so long to load, though. Can we... Release player, how much how much would he cost? 3.6 million. I genuinely 
move to reserve team. I don't want to see his face again. Genuinely, I don't. Anyway, so we have about three games left, and I guess these three games are just for pride. I mean, we're about, what, seven points behind Man United and six points behind Man City, five points, four points behind Liverpool. <sighs> you know, depressing. Would you rather get hit by a belt or play Hakimi hypes? Now that's free real estate. <laughs> what? Neither. Neither. No. <laughs> I'm not answering that. I'm not answering that. But uh, anyway, so we have about three games left in the, in, in the stream, guys. And uh, yeah, listen, smash a like if you've uh, if you've enjoyed so far. I mean, I haven't enjoyed at all. This has been a pathetic stream for me. Pathetic way to end a season, you know. I thought he was in the reserve team. Press off. I never... No. Get out then. Whatever. 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 Where is Henrik? Serious. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Isak will start. Um, so we're obviously up against... Is it Liverpool? No, Aston Villa. We have Aston Villa first. Um, who else can we start? Well, I'll just go with that. I'll just go with that. So, three games left in the Premier League, and uh, these are the last three games on this career series, and the last the last three games on this stream. So, um, I guess these these three games are just for pride. I guess these these games are just for pride now. But uh, yeah, anyway. So we have uh, Aston Villa to come off the back of a draw to Sheffield United, and uh, we we pretty much have nothing to play for anymore, lads. It's just pride. And um, yeah, two inter two interesting games after this, of course. Though we have Liverpool and Manchester United. So, so for those of you that are Man United and Liverpool fans, you're going to want to stick around because it's going to be quite interesting to see what happens in those games. And um, yeah, but we have Aston Villa to come now, and uh, we I mean they have what one, two, three, ex Manchester United players: Twan Zebi, Brandon Brandon Williams, and Tate Chong. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah, Aston Villa to come. Let's see what happens in this game. Looking forward to it. Don't forget to smash a like on the stream, guys. Drive the likes up. I'd really appreciate that. It's been a pretty depressing stream for me. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. Put a smile on my face, you know, 100%. So please do that for me. And uh, subscribe if you are new. I'm pushing for 2,590 subscribers. So uh, yeah, let's, let's push for that. And um, I'm obviously going to be doing a a 3k subs giveaway so as soon as i get to 3,000 subscribers i will do a giveaway for my subscribers and um just to thank you guys i'm not sure what it is yet it will be a surprise but it's going to be something special and uh it's probably not going to be smvip a lot of people ask me is it going to be smvip probably not probably be something more valuable but uh yeah so hmm. push yeah the sooner you guys get me to 3k subs the sooner i'll be doing a giveaway and uh, every single one of you will have a chance of winning it doesn't matter where you are in the world but um, yeah, and of course, don't forget to turn that notification bell on to never miss one of my streams or my videos. And uh, go follow me on my socials. Link will be in the description to all my social medias. Um, and uh, yeah, so feel free to go follow me, join my Discord server, whatever, you know. Anyway, so it's no nil, nil at the moment. Uh, we are up against Aston Villa, and I think it's necessary that we make some changes here now. So I'm going to bring Nketi on. Again, doozy. I could bring Torreira on, but I'm not going to. And uh, those are the only two changes I'll make. And then um, let's just sort the instructions out real quick. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go pretty attacking now in the second half, 100%. So let me change the forwards to mixed. And then player roles. There we go. So we've changed the two midfielders to playmakers and the two wingers to advanced playmakers. So I want a little more creativity and hopefully we can make something happen in the second half. So I've made two changes as well. Again, Doozy for Brandt. Hopefully he can bring some firepower off the bench. And then obviously Nketiah for Isak. Uh, crucial, very crucial um, 
substitution for me because Nketiah always brings firepower off the bench. But second half to come against Villa at Villa Park. It's nil-nil at the moment, and hopefully we can score a goal in the second half. Looking forward to it. But uh, Oli Gunnar Guardiola, um, welcome to the stream, man. Appreciate you coming on, of course. And um, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoy the stream, and I hope you stick around, man. It's nice to see some new people in the stream. And um, yeah, I welcome you to the Hypes community, of course, as I welcome everybody else. So um, yeah, feel free to stick around. Um, and yeah, I'd really appreciate that. But um, anyway, so we did win 1-0 at least, and Nketiah scored, so he, we, we brought him on off the bench and he scored a goal, which is great. I mean, I I commend him for that. And uh, we pretty much dominated possession throughout the whole game. We had 70% possession, they had 30% possession. We had 21 shots, they had 11. So we, we had about twice the amount of attempts they did. But yet again, what's ironic is that they got twice the amount of shots on target, you know, but uh, we ended up winning 1-0. But uh, yeah, anyway, so we have two games left and it's Man United and Liverpool. So Man United drew, Liverpool won, Man City won. Um, so yeah, I mean, listen, if you take a look back at the, the fixtures we had on the stream, when we started off this stream, we were in a title race. We were literally four points off the top. But this loss to... Well, this draw to Chelsea and this loss to, to Watford, that was four, no, that was five points that we lost. We would be in second place now. We'd be in second place now. And that and that loss to all that draw to Sheffield United, we'd be in first place, right? We would have we'd be we'd have 83 points now at the moment. We would have 83 points now at the moment if we had won every single game now. We drew to Sheffield United and Watford. So those two games, you could argue we should have won. The Chelsea game, fine, draw, okay? But if we'd beaten Sheffield United, we would have 78 points. If we'd beaten Watford, we'd have 81 points, and we would have been in third place now, ahead of Liverpool on goal difference, most likely. And we'd have been on points with Manchester United, one point behind City. If City slipped up and uh, we beat Manchester United and Liverpool, we would have won a Premier League title. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I look back at that stuff, and like I mentioned, it irritates me because we could have won those games. Forget Chelsea. Chelsea's one thing. But the the bloody Sheffield United and 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 Watford game, it just, it, uh, you know, it gets on my nerves. I can't do anything about it now, but I look back at it and I'm like, oh, come on, you know. Okay, now the Gunners, Liverpool are coming in. Yeah, well, we're up against Liverpool next. If we beat them, we'll be one point behind them. So, I mean, for me, at this point in time, I guess the only thing that we can fight for is finishing above Tottenham. <laughs> it's no trophy, but it would be better than finishing below them. So, yeah, if we lose this game to Liverpool now, we will go below Tottenham if they win their game. See, Man United lose again. Man United lost again. It's my point. It's my point. You know? But uh, we can't really do anything about it now, can we? Anyway, objectives. I couldn't really care less about this because obviously this is our last season. But Liverpool to come. Big game. Either way, it's a big game. I mean, we're playing one of our rivals. It is a big game, of course, 100%. And uh, I'm looking forward to it because um, obviously Liverpool are one of our bigger rivals, you know. And I always look forward to playing them because they always give you a game. They always give you a good game. <laughs> they always give you a good game. Um but let's see, who can I bring on? I'm going to start Nketiah here for this game, and I'll start Leno. The reason why I'm going to start Leno is because Leno has better chemistry than Onana, even though Onana's a, a better rated goalkeeper, but I'll just start Leno instead for this game. And I'm going to make a bit of changes to the, the tactics. I'm going to make forwards mixed 
which gives them an opportunity of shooting on site and working the ball into the box. So a mixture between that. But uh, Liverpool to come, second last game of this career series, second last game on the stream. So these these last two games, Man United and Liverpool, big games. And I think it's a great way to end the season, even though we've had a pretty terrible um, stream and season because we haven't won anything again. But uh, we, um, we could finish off this season and this career series by beating two of our rivals and uh, finishing in style. But uh, we're up against Liverpool, a pretty tough Liverpool team. They still have two of their uh, front three, Firmino and Mane, Keita, Wijnaldum, Fabinho, Gomez, Robertson. Don't know who Grabara is, though. They have Lataro Martinez. They have Ndombele. They've had Ndombele for quite a while. Um, who else have they got? Davinson Sanchez, two Tottenham players. Well, ex-Tottenham players, should I say. But anyway, Liverpool to come. Big game. I know they are Liverpool fans. They watch me. And, um, yeah, let's see what happens in this game. Still something to play for, I guess. But, uh, yeah, pride. Pride. I mean, if we beat Liverpool now and then Liverpool lose their next game and we win, we could potentially go ahead of Liverpool, I think. But, uh, yeah, that's if we beat Liverpool this game. Listen, I mean, Liverpool are always tough to play against. But, um, yeah, and Liverpool score already. Liverpool score already. So we are 1-0 down at the moment against Liverpool. And, um, I mean, Martinez scored... We've been dominating possession, though. I mean, Tottenham are losing to West Brom, which is always a good thing to see. But uh, they've had 15 shots, 5 on target. We've had, we've had 11 shots, 2 on target. So, I mean, we've had chances, but they've had more chances. And according to the stats, rightly so, they they do deserve to be 1-0 ahead. You know, can't can't not agree with that. Um, okay, I'm going to bring Isak on for Nketia, and then let me just change the instructions. I'll make the attacking style uh, forwards, uh, work ball into box, and then um, I'll, I'll do the player roles thing again. I don't know. I just, I'm going to be risking it, but, you know, I guess these last two games are all about risk at the end of the day. Anyway. Um, so I've made one change. Isak von Nketiah hopefully can bring some firepower off the bench because he's uh, we know he's capable of that. We're only 1-0 down, though. It's not like we're 2 or 3-0 down. So we still do have a chance of coming back. But like I mentioned, second last game of this career series, second last game of uh, the stream. So let's try, let's try and make it count. I guess a draw will be respectable, but if we can get a win, listen, I'm all for that. And... We've seen we've seen our team come back in difficult situations this season. So if we can do that here, I mean, I'd be really proud of the team. But um, when they get two, so Liverpool win. And uh, you know, at this point, you know, I just want the season to be over and done with. But yeah, I mean, Latoro Martinez is like very overpowered in soccer manager. Just saying, even from SM twenty. Yeah, SM20 up until SM21, he's been so overpowered. He's, he's so good in this game. So I recommend you guys sign him if, you, uh, if you're if you starting a career with a, with a strong team. Sign Lotaro Martinez. He'll bag you loads of goals. But uh, Liverpool end up winning 2-0. And, uh, I mean, Liverpool on a title race. They're in a title race. We're not. So I guess this has just helped them. And, um, you know, they dominate possession, as you can tell. We had 42% possession, they had 58. We had 20 shots, they had 24. So we had chances, but we just didn't have enough quality to uh, to beat them, I guess. Tottenham drew. So technically, we're still uh, one point ahead of them. But, um, yeah, so we can't go ahead of Manchester United now, even if... Even if we beat them, we can't go ahead of them. So I guess this game's all about potentially not going below Tottenham. I don't know who Tottenham are playing against. I actually want to see it, you know. 
Um, sorry, not being in recent streams. I was busy. No, no worries, Jesse. Don't worry about it, man. I know people are busy, but I appreciate everybody that takes time out of their day to watch my streams. I, I really do appreciate it. You know, I don't expect anyone to, but the people that I that, that do, I uh, I appreciate it. Um, but uh, yeah, we have Manchester United up next. The last game on the stream, last game on this career series, lads. So for those of you that are watching. You're lucky to be uh, the few people that are uh, watching this last, uh, this final game of this career series, because this is going to be the last one. And uh, yeah, I mean, we don't, we can't really finish above anyone. Well, we can't go ahead of anyone. So if we win this game, we will uh, stay in fourth. But if we lose this game, we could potentially go below Tottenham which will be a very, very, very disappointing way to end this career series. So, yeah. Um, but there's still a lot to play for because I don't know. Who do Tottenham have? Who do Tottenham have? As their last game. I reckon it's going to be like a weak team for some reason. I just reckon it's going to be like a, probably like a, a Fulham or something. I don't know why. Yeah, Man United came in third, so if Man United aren't going to win a title, they're not going to win a title, but it's between Liverpool and Man City, I would say. Um, no, schedule. Fulham. What are the odds of that? <laughs> what are the odds of that? I literally predicted Fulham. I didn't even know. I'm not even kidding, lads. I'm not kidding. Swear to God. I, I predicted Fulham. I was like, they're probably going to play Fulham or something. And I predicted it correct. They're going to play Fulham. But I reckon they're going to win that game. So I guess the only choice we really have is beating Manchester United. But we lost to them in the first fixture 3 0. It was a home game. It was a home game. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's the worst thing that could possibly happen now is us going below Tottenham. Oh, I can't I can't imagine it. We finished above them last season, so <sighs> Tottenham have a good team though. They have a, a very good team, so you know. But many United to come. I know there's some many United fans that do watch my content, of course. I do know that there are many United fans that watch my content. So, um, yeah. Listen, for those of you that are watching, um, big game. It's a final game on the stream. So, I mean, if you are if you are watching and you haven't smashed a like yet, please smash a like on the stream. I'd really appreciate that. Um, smash a like on the stream. And uh, subscribe if you are new. If you are new, subscribe, please. I'd also really appreciate that. I'm pushing for 2,590 subscribers, which is my new milestone. So, um, yeah, if you've already subscribed, please share the content around to friends and family, anyone that might be interested in watching this type of content. Um, and, uh, yeah, don't forget to turn that notification bell on to never miss one of my streams or my videos because uh, I stream daily. And uh, yeah, go follow me on my socials, go follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Twitter, um, feel free to do that and uh, go join my Discord server, the Hypes community, there's a link in the description to that as well and um, yeah, go follow me on Twitch because I will be streaming on Twitch for a month, well just over a month, from this weekend until July, so that's about five or six weeks I'll be streaming on Twitch, I won't be streaming on YouTube. So go follow me on Twitch. The link is in the description to my Twitch profile. So go follow me on there. And um, it's free to start an account. It's free to follow me. You don't have to pay. You're just watching my live streams on a different platform. So yeah, do go check that out 100%. But Man United to come, big game. And uh, this is the final game on this career series, final game on the stream. So yeah. What's the new series if there is one? Well, I'm going to probably start um, a new Road to Glory series in July. I don't know how long it's going to last, though, because obviously I believe around then 
Soccer Manager 2022 beta will be out, um, or maybe even August time. So uh, I'll see, but um, I'll be doing a Road to Glory career series. Um, I'm not sure with which team yet, so I'm going to do a poll of uh, certain teams that you guys can choose from. I'll pick about five, and then whichever team gets the most votes, I'll start a new career series with. So that's only going to be in about a month's time, though. But for now, I'll be streaming on Twitch after this stream. So, yeah, anyway. So I'll start uh, Niketia for this game. Um, who else? Yeah, Hakimi. I'm glad he's injured. Twat. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wish no harm on, on, on Hakimi. All right. So, Man United to come. Big game. It's a very big game. And uh, because it's the last game, this is the final game of the career series. It's the final game. This is it. It's going to be no more Arsenal career after this. And uh, this might be the final proper career mode that I will be doing um, in Soccer Manager 2021. So, yeah, I'll be doing a Road to Glory career series, of course, but that's one thing. But I mean, like, a, a proper career mode. Obviously, a Road to Glory series and then, like, a, a normal career mode or two different career modes. So this is probably going to be the final Soccer Manager 2021 career that I'll be doing, proper career. I'll be doing something like this again in Soccer Manager 2022, but for now, um, this will be the final one. This is the final game. So, yeah, it's like a farewell game in a way. You know, I see it as that. And it's against Manchester United out of all teams. So, it's a big game. One of our top six rivals, of course. And um, I believe it's going to be a good game because it's always a good game against Manchester United. It's always a high scoring game. And uh, they have some very good players in their team. They have Sabitzer, Lewandowski, Niguez, um, Upper Meccano. And, uh, I mean, there's, they, have, they have a pretty decent bench as well. So um, I'm looking forward to it. If we win, if we win this game, I, I don't expect to win this game, though, but if we win this game, um, I will, I'll be happy because uh, not only will we beat a rival, but... It'll be a nice way to end off this career series. But uh, overall, the stream has been pretty bad. It's been horrible. We can recap after this. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can make this one count. Manchester United to come. Final game of the Premier League. Final game of this career series. So yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Big game this though. Big game either way. Um, I think the only thing we have to play for though is not finishing below Tottenham. Because if we do lose this game... Uh, we will potentially go below Manchester United. But it's one all at the moment as we speak. And uh, it's 3-2 at the moment. Like I mentioned, this game's always a high-scoring game, and I really enjoy it. I do. Every season, from season one up until now, it's always been a high-scoring game against Manchester United. I, I, I enjoy it. I genuinely enjoy it. I like it. That doesn't make it boring. So, um, yeah, we are 3-2 up at the moment at Old Toilet. <laughs> It's so just a joke. Don't take me seriously, Manchester United fans. But uh, it's been relatively even. They have dominated possession, though. But uh, it's been relatively even on the amount of the uh, of attempts the teams have had. But we've had more shots on targets. And I think with that, we've scored more goals. Felix has bagged two. Nketiah scored one. And Van der Beek has scored two. So, yeah. I mean... The midfielders aren't playing too well for us, so I'll bring in Doozy on for Brandt. And I think that's the only change I'll make. So, yeah. Um, let me just change the instructions here. Arthur can take the free kicks. And then the corner taker. Yeah, Arthur can also be the corner taker. So, we are winning. We are winning. So, I mean, as it stands, we are currently winning the final game of this Arsenal career series and I'll be I'll be happy it will put a smile on my face if we can win this game um yeah it, it genuinely will make me happy if we can win this game so I'm hoping that we can make that happen the game's far from over <laughs> it's only been the first half and already five goals have been scored so there's still another 45 minutes to play including stoppage time so let's see what happens I've made one change can doozy 
for Brandt. This is the last second half of this career series, and uh, this will be the last second half for uh, for quite a while, guys. So um, let's make this one count. Let's make this one count. And uh, lots to look forward to in the second half. And um, yeah, hopefully we can win this game. And I actually want to check real quick. Are Tottenham playing? Tottenham must be playing. They're losing to Fulham. <laughs> Okay, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's making me smile already. It's making me smile already. But second half to come. And uh, like I mentioned, this game is far from over. This game is very fast. Three all at the moment. That is three all at the moment. And uh, it's three all in the end. Respectable result. I, I would shake someone's hand to that. Because um, it was tough. But, you know, it was respectable in the end. Three all. Not disappointed. It would, be, it would have been nice if we won the game, but um, three all. And that's the last game of the season, lads. That's it. The last game of this career series. And um, this will be the last game um, until we do our new career series in July. So, yeah. Um, Obviously, I'll be going through stats and all, th all sorts of things um, in just a second. But, uh, yeah, I mean, match stats, uh, we were 3-2 three, three up in the first half. And uh, Man United end up, ended up scoring a goal in the second half, which uh, ended up in 3-all. And, um, you know, I'm not too disappointed with that in the end. I mean, they had 30 shots. We had 23. They had six shots on target. We had 12. I mean, with the amount of shots on target, you could argue that we should have maybe won the game. But in the end, it's three all. And uh, I just hope that Tottenham lost because Tottenham could uh, could finish above us now because um, if they'd won that game. But I'm hoping they didn't. I'm hoping they didn't. Well, that's the final game, though. That is the final game. And, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> okay, they lost. <laughs> Fulham beat Tottenham. Yes, that's the one thing that I'm happy about. That put a smile on my face. That put a smile on my face, genuinely. Because if Tottenham had won that game, uh, they would have finished above us. But, um, yeah, we ended up coming in fourth place again for the second consecutive season. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's been I, – I didn't enjoy the stream too much. For, for those of you that have joined late – some of you might understand why, because we got knocked out of the Champions League. We were we actually let me start off here. We were in a title race at the beginning of the stream. We were in a title race 100 percent We lost to Watford, then drew to Chelsea. I think that's where it ended. That is where it ended. Then we lost to Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League, and then we lost to Everton in the FA Cup. And then since then it's just been eh. So for me, we didn't win anything in the end, but I guess the overall career series was fun for me. Um, forget the trophies, forget the fixtures. I really, I really enjoyed interacting with you guys, one hundred percent. And I mean, if we take a look at um, some of the trophies we'd won this season, I'll take, a, I'll take a look at my match stats and everything, and my manager stats, just to give you guys an idea of um, how we did. My manager record was overall 59%. Not great, but was way above average. Well, not way above, but just above average. And uh, in our first season, we got a 40% win rate. Our second season, we got a 70% win rate. Our third season, we got a 55% win rate. And then last season, we got a 56% win rate. And then the season, this season, we got a 59% win rate. And... Um, the trophies we won, we only won three trophies in five seasons, which isn't bad if you think about it. We won a Premier League title and two FA Community Shields. So no, to comp no continental competitions. No continental competitions. Do you know? Um, and that was the goal for this career series, was to win a continental competition. If it was the Europa League or the Champions League. We didn't manage to win either. And um, you could consider that a fail, but yet again, we did win three trophies in the end. Records. I'll show you guys my records. Our biggest win was 9-0 over Newcastle United. Biggest loss, 6-3 to Liverpool. A record attendance, 60,429. Record fee received was Bellerin to Wolves for 44 million. And... Uh, 
Record signing Marquinhos for 68 million. Uh, record winning streak, eight games in a row. <laughs> not bad, not bad. And then record games and beats in 21. So if we just, if we'd gotten triple that, or well, not triple that actually, if we had gotten an extra 30 games on top of the record games and beaten, we would have, we would have been the Invincibles for the second time. I would have broken the Invincibles record. But yeah, that was the season where we were like, I was looking at potentially becoming Invincibles, but then obviously we, we ended up losing. But uh, yeah, other than that, though, that's uh, pretty much the stats. Um, I can show you guys. We played overall 51 matches, won 30, drew 10, matches lost 11. I think that's for this season, yeah. But uh, yeah, so obviously that's my stats and not that impressive, but you know, it was uh, it was fun though. And uh, Man City won the Premier League title this season. And uh, you know what I can do is I can actually stay to see who wins the Champions League because at the moment Man City and Man United are playing in the Champions League final or semi-final and then Barcelona are playing Juventus in the uh, other semi-final. And then in the Europa League, Monaco are playing Tottenham and Inter Milan are playing Chelsea. So, you know what I can actually do is I can um, simulate through and uh, wait to see who wins the Champions League in the Europa League. So, yeah. Aiden and Kitty got the golden boots. Oh, snap. Hold on. I didn't check that. Oh, I didn't check that. Um, yeah. Um, we don't know. Uh, Fee Footballer. Hey, appreciate you coming on, man. Good to see you on the stream. I appreciate you coming on and I appreciate everybody coming on, of course. And uh, yeah, listen, guys, drive the likes up. Let's get to 15 likes. Come on. There's only 11 likes on the stream. We've really slacked in likes recently. So please drive the likes up. Come on. Mods that are in the live chat that are watching, please push for likes. I mean, I was achieving, what, 20 likes at one stage on streams. Now I'm, uh, I'm trying to get 15 so it's really decreased in in that way but um you know not everybody's watching and that's fine but uh, let's push for for 15 likes come on guys um i know we can do it but yeah uh do awards for signing of the season okay yeah i can do that i guess i'll do play of the season in my opinion and signing of the season and all that stuff uh okay so just get some training out the way i don't even know why i'm doing training it's pretty pointless uh league stats let's take a look at the stats for this season let's take a look at the stats then i'll take a look at the all-time stats in just a second but uh, Ninketia gets the golden boot i mean 30 goals he's he's been so good on this career series guys you don't understand Eddie Nketiah has been, he's been so good. So if you guys are starting a career with a small team, sign Nketiah. He's cheap in the first season and uh, he's got great potential and he scores you a lot of goals. So I recommend signing him. Um, Earl got the most assists. Saka gets 13, so he came in fourth alongside Upper Meccano. Uh, top players, Lewandowski, um, Felix and Nketiah. Wow. Four of our players, Felix, Nketiah, Arthur and Brandt uh, were behind Lewandowski. And then um, man of the match, Eddie Nketiah gets 11, one off Robertson. And then most yellow cards, Aki's there, an ex-Arsenal player. Um, most red cards, Aki as well. And I'm surprised Hakimi's not here. He was an absolute disgrace. Hakimi, oh my days. If I was doing another season, I would have gotten rid of his ass. He was an absolute disgrace. So many times in crucial games, he would get a red card. It wasn't the first time it happened. You know, there's a quarterfinal to, to Everton. He got a red card and that cost us the game. That initially cost us the game. But anyway, um, okay. So player so signing of the season. Um... It's going to be a tough one for me. Signing of this career series. Actually, I'll do that. So signing of this career series, I'll probably go with Felix. Jao Felix, for me, was the signing of the career series. The reason is, I would say Ninketia, if we'd signed Ninketia, um, then I would have said him 100%. But 
The signing of the career series, Jao Felix. Player, the best player that's been consistent since we've started him from the beginning up until now is Eddie Nketiah for me. So I would give him that reward or award, should I say. Because you take a look at this guy's stats, you understand it is so good. The, I'll show you guys in just a second. His stats are so good. Um, history. He scored 105 goals and 75 appearances and 27 appearances off the bench. It says it there. That's exactly why I'm giving him that award. 105 goals. <laughs> and he's been consistent every season. I mean, check, take a look here. 30 goals, 31 goals, 32 goals, 12 goals. He fully deserves it. He fully deserves it. So I, I would give him the player of this career series. Signing of the career series, Jao Felix. Wanker of the career series, probably Hakimi. Probably Hakimi, yeah. I'll give him the wanker of the career series. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, it was uh, it was fun. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. It was the first uh, live stream career series that I did, you know. And um, yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. It was different. And I, I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, as long as you guys enjoyed it, it's most important to me because... If you guys weren't watching my streams, like I mentioned, I wouldn't be sitting here doing this. You know, I've had people, well, I've had zero people watching me at stages of my live streams, but I don't let it get to me, you know, because I know there will be people coming to watch it later and I make sure it doesn't get to me. So, um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody that that's taken their time out of their day to come watch my live streams from episode one up until now. I know not everybody's had time to do it, but people that have, man, I, I appreciate you guys, all of you are real G's, you guys are real ones, and I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me, and um, I won't be gone after this, it's not like I'm doing a farewell speech, I'm just doing a farewell speech to this like uh, career series, because um, it was really fun, 38 episodes, I streamed for 38 days in a row, so five weeks in one day, that's consistency right there, that is consistency right there, that's consistency in a nutshell. So for you guys that are YouTubers that are starting out, consistency is key. Um, but yeah, uh, so I will be back on Twitch. So like I mentioned, I will be streaming on Twitch, guys. For those of you that are watching now, I'll be streaming on Twitch, but I will be uploading the Twitch content to YouTube. I won't be streaming daily on Twitch. I'll be streaming on weekends. So I'll be doing about two streams on the weekends. But uh, I'm going to be giving the live streaming a bit of a break. But I will be back in July. I'll be doing another streaming career series in July. So, um, yeah, um, I'm going to be doing a Road to Glory career series. So, yeah, I'll be posting polls and I'll be keeping you guys updated 100% on that. So keep your eyes peeled. But I hope you guys enjoyed this career series in, in a whole. I really did. It was really fun. And um, I'm, I'm going definitely going to be looking to do uh, more career series like this, you know because uh it was really entertaining and um yeah if it wasn't entertaining if it wasn't fun for me i would have stopped a long time ago you know but uh yeah anyway listen guys um i guess this is this is, this is the end we've come to an end and um this is the end of our arsenal career series in uh soccer manager 2021 and um it's been fun and uh i appreciate everybody has come on and supported me. I'll mention it one more time. So, uh, yeah. But one thing, guys, don't forget to smash a like on the stream for your boy since this is the last stream of this career series. Let's get to 15 likes. We're two likes away from 15 likes. Come on, guys. Let's push for 15 likes. Even if that's telling your friends or something to come like the stream that isn't interested, let's get to 15 likes, guys. Come on. Please push for that. I'd really appreciate it if you guys did that for me. 15 likes. And uh, please subscribe if you are new. Um, literally, please subscribe because uh, obviously uh, I'm pushing for 2,590 subs. And uh, that's my new milestone. So if you've already subscribed, I know most of you that watch me are subscribed. But if you already subscribed, please go and uh, share the content around to friends and family because, uh, yeah, um, I'm trying to push for 3K overall because 3K, when I get to 3K, I'll be doing a giveaway to my subscribers. Every single one of you watching right now will have a chance to win something special. doesn't matter where you are in the world, you'll have a chance of winning something special. So the sooner you guys get me to 3K, the sooner I'll be doing a giveaway. 
100%. So, yeah, please subscribe um, if you haven't yet. And, um, yeah. And uh, don't forget to turn the notification bell on to never miss one of my streams or my videos because I'll be streaming um, or uploading my Twitch content to YouTube. But, uh, yeah, then go follow me on my socials as well. Go follow me on Instagram. Go follow me on Twitter. Um, go follow me on Twitch. Very important because I will be streaming on Twitch for about the next few weeks. The next month I'll be streaming on Twitch. So go and follow me on Twitch right now. If you want to uh, interact with me on my live streams, I'll be doing Twitch. So go follow me on Twitch. It's free to sign up. It's free to follow me. And um, yeah, so definitely do go check that out. Um, and of course, go join my Discord server. For those of you that haven't uh, joined my Discord server, feel free to join us free. Well, uh, you can join the Hypes community. I welcome everybody and uh, it's open to, to anyone. So yeah. But other than that, guys, I appreciate everybody coming on. I appreciate everybody supporting me on this career series that I've been doing. And um, I'll be doing one again soon. And uh, yeah, so keep well, guys. I will be back soon. I won't be streaming tomorrow. I'll be streaming on Twitch on Sunday, though. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I will be streaming on Twitch on Sunday. So yeah. Other than that, though, thank you, everybody. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys soon. And um, yeah, stay safe, keep well. And uh, yeah, peace, lads. Peace.